countries normally uh, develop uh, ballistic missiles that can carry a single warhead. And as their technology advances, uh, they would try to uh, mount multiple warheads or more than one warhead on each missile. And a multiple reentry vehicle technology basically means that um, the countries can uh, you know, release multiple warheads um, after the uh, boosting phase of the uh, missile flight. Uh, but all those warheads would be ejected with almost, you know, with very similar speed and direction so that they would land in the same um, area or land very close to each other. Um, whereas MRF, multiple independently targetable reentry vehicle, means uh, the post-boost vehicle after the boost phase of the uh, missile flight would launch each warhead uh, in sequence and it could make readjustment to the position and the speed of each warhead so that uh, each warhead can be uh, directed within certain uh, uh, scope against different target. Um, so that greatly expand the uh, uh, target uh, a list that uh, a missile can uh, pose threat against. So that is a more uh, military uh, useful and flexible technology than uh, MRV, multiple uh, reentry vehicle. Um, so I think uh, that's why many countries, including Pakistan, uh, uh, which reportedly uh, has already um, developed MERV technology and is using it on its new ballistic missile. And India may also have interest in at least conducting research in this area, if not already um, in the process of um, turning them into an operational capability.